coming back to the source, to yourself. You're coming back home again. Home is here. You come, you come in and the mind gets quiet and the heart opens and you feel the bliss. You feel the love. You get reconnected with the source energy, with your divine self. And then it's like, ah, oh, oh yeah, all is well. Everything, all is well. Everything is fine. You remember again. You reconnect with it. To the very foundation of yourself, your divine self. Reconnect with it. And in that reconnection, you being reminded that all is well and everything is going to be handled in a divine order. Life knows what life is doing. And you don't need to really panic and worry. Especially when it's completely, it's very apparent that is out of your control. When it's very clear, it's out of your control and there's nothing you can do. By going into this place of panicking and worrying, does it really help? Does it fix things? And things get be fixed. Could they go your way if you panic and worry about it? Would it help? You can examine it. Or it's just a part of your addiction. It's your addiction. Is it your addiction? You're addicted to it, to worry about it. Because that is going to make you feel comfortable that you are doing something to help the situation. You know, I'm about to lose, for example, my house. Okay? And I'm using some extreme situations. I'm about to lose my house. They're going to kick me out of here because I can't pay my mortgage anymore or my rent. Okay. So, and I'm going to freak out. I need to freak out about it because that's what we have been conditioned to observe from other people, from our parents, from our relatives from people around us most of our lives to panic about a situation like that. I'm about to lose my home and I need to panic about it. I need to be really freak out, cry and jump up and down and call around and tell other people that I'm a victim and it's poor me and I'm losing my home and my life's going to come to an end and how horrible life is and how unfortunate I am. So then, you know, maybe some other people say, oh my God, you know, you're right. And so they re-emphasize that part of yourself that needs to be fed by these kind of emotions and gets power and that's going to make you feel like you're doing something. You're just not sitting around, not doing anything. And that kind of makes you feel better in a way because you don't know what else to do. Because if you don't do anything, if you don't panic and go to that place of being hectic, then you're not a good person. You know, you're horrible. You haven't done anything. You're not trying to save your situation because you're just being passive, because you're just being calm, because you're being centered and you're being collected and you're not good. You're not good. You're not a good person. You're not doing anything to help yourself. Which, in fact, the other way around is the way to help yourself. 
because now, okay, your house is about to be taken away for whatever reason, because you went into bankruptcy or, or whatever is the situation. You're unemployed, you can't pay your rent or mortgage or whatever is the situation, it's gonna be taken away. And now, its existence has created an opportunity for you, has put you in a golden opportunity for you to demonstrate trust, for you to demonstrate to yourself to realize that because existence doesn't care. You're not really doing it for existence. Existence doesn't really care if you're going to demonstrate trust to existence or not. Is the whole situation is being created for you to grow and to evolve and to come to your higher self. It's, it's a setup in your school of life in this dimension that we all signed up for it. We came to this school to move to a higher dimension to evolve into the better part of ourselves, to come to this part of ourselves that's very present in this moment and is trusting life will take care of me because I'm part of life and I trust existence and everything I need will be provided, will come to me. Maybe not everything I want, because not necessarily getting what you want is a good thing. It could be very destructive to you and to everyone else, but getting what you need is always provided for all of us. So now the School of Life is presented another opportunity for us to learn what? To learn that if I am here still in this moment and I recognize who I am, I recognize I'm connected to life, I am a product of life, life has produced me and life is responsible to take care of me, then I can let go and trust that life will take care of me in this, in this phase. And then you will see what happens. You will see what happens. And life will take care of you. Because it already has done that. Even though it appears to be, it looks like, you know, you have to be aware of this. It appears and it looks like you're doing it yourself. You're the one who's doing things. It looks like it and your schooling and all the education that we receive and especially uh, uh, in our society today, it's just saying like, yeah, you're, you're doing it yourself. You have to get it. You have to go out there and you have to da, 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 da. But existence is creating it and putting the opportunities and the steps in front of us in a magical way. So we're going to use every challenge as an opportunity given to us to demonstrate that we trust life, we trust this moment, we trust the supreme soul, the presence, the living spirit will take care of this situation that I have no control over. <laughs> 